latency has been a big problem on Android. Android 5 introduces their own USB driver, but this limits you to just a two in, two out scenario and still includes about 180 milliseconds latency. Audio Evolution Mobile ships with its own proprietary driver, which not only opens up the door to over 250 different devices, it expands your possibilities to include all manner of input and output as per your device. So if you've got a device that supports multiple input, you've got it. And uh, even multiple out. And all of this is coming with ultra low latency so you can play instruments in real time. And to, to do all of this, all you need is an on-the-go kit. You can connect any uh, class compliant interface that you already own straight to your tablet. This requires an in-app purchase. But once you've made that, you can now easily connect your interface to the Android device using just the on-the-go cable. If your audio interface doesn't support MIDI, you could use a powered USB hub, which would allow you to connect both a USB audio interface and a USB MIDI keyboard. Then once again, you're gonna get the lower latency available using the extreme USB driver. You may be asked by Android if you want to allow your interface to connect, but once you do, you're gonna be presented with this screen and it'll light up with these indicators to show you which kind of devices you've connected to it. And since I've got a uh, interface that includes both audio and MIDI, both of the USB green lights light up. So now we can make use of those by adding in some tracks. And now if we switch over into the second panel, we can assign the inputs for each of these tracks. So as you see, I've got all of the inputs available on my interface now exposed here on the Android tablet. Let's say I want to use three and four on channel one and five and six on channel two. Perhaps on channel three, I only want a mono signal for whatever reason. Maybe I'm using a mono synth that's only outputting one thing or, or a guitar track or whatever that's only using one. I would definitely want to use a mono input so that it's not all going to the left channel or all to the right. By telling it mono, it's going to keep it right there dead in center. And if I switch now to the front panel of this and arm it, we should be able to hear my Prophet 12, which is connected there. And we do. So we can also make use of the uh, MIDI by adding in now a USB MIDI track. And by default, it's going to assume that you want to use your USB connected device. So it has already selected that. So now if I arm this, we'll see a little indicator on the uh, VU meter to show us when I'm hitting a key. And if we hit record, The keys I just pressed have all been recorded into a MIDI track uh, channel, which you can now further edit and tweak and do whatever you want with it. To get even more fancy though, we could pop out to our bus page and add a bus. Let's add a couple, or let's go th for three here. And now if we cycle to the next page, and depending on how many outputs your interface provides, you can now select those as potential outputs. So. I can say three and four on channel two and five and six on group three and we're good to go. We can now run these out to all kinds of external effects. <laughs> 